I've made a tool here. If you're into building crystal radios, this will save you a lot of time and frustration. What it is, is it reproduces the detector part of the radio, which all these radios have pretty much the same thing. Now in the past, what I've done is I've used these jumper wires like this, and I've jumpered all this stuff together. But for example, today I had uh, two jumper wires went bad, the clips fell off the ends. So that's very frustrating when you're working and things aren't working right, it turns out to be a bad clip. Or, you know, the alligator clips just not situated on there very well. So yeah, removes a lot of uh, potential failure points in your design and your building. So I build this and then what I can do is I can come along and I can add my coil, whatever coil I happen to be working on. I can clip those in there using the standard alligator clips. Uh, in this case, I can actually just screw them into the screw points and start my testing. I don't have to uh, build and rebuild this same circuit over and over again, especially for radios that fail, like when I just recently did the variometer radio. Just, yeah, it wasn't worth keeping. So I just use this type of circuit and I can, you know, say, fine, I wasted my time on the coil and get rid of that, but this piece stays around. So let's zoom in on this and we'll see how it's built. And then you can uh, decide if you want to make one for yourself. Let's start in the back. What I've done is this is some solder wick and it's there to allow me to make a quick connection via the alligator clips. So rather than try to clip onto a screw or something, this gives me room for several alligator clips. And yeah, so uh, just again, a piece of solder wick that is soldered to the bottom brass washer. These are pairs of brass washers as I've always done in my crystal radios. The top one is bent a little bit to allow the, the parts, the leads to sit nicely. Uh, the bottom one is just a flat brass washer, stainless steel screw. Ditto on all these over here. Uh, this is our crystal radio diode, our 1N34A or the D9K that I'm using now. Uh, comes over here to this point and here normally we would have a fixed resistor, but in this case I have added a variable resistor so that I can very quickly make a determination when I'm testing and decide what's the best value, that what works the best in this particular radio. Then I can measure that later and then replace that with a, uh, a fixed piece. Finally, uh, just the other side, this is typically the ground over here, another tab for, for the alligator clips. And of course the uh, earphone are these two gray wires and they come out here to this. Uh, you may say, what's this capacitor doing over here? And a lot of my experimentation, I add a capacitor to see what it'll do. Could be on the antenna, could be on the ground, could be somewhere across the coil, whatever. And yeah, so this allows me to quickly jump in a capacitor. I can change the value over here. And yeah, so it makes experimentation a lot easier, a lot simpler, a lot less frustrating. And I don't repeat this stuff over and over again on radios that I'm not going to keep. I can do something quick and dirty and I can say, okay, this is worth pursuing or not worth pursuing. Okay, well that was it. I hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY crystal radio experimentation.